Alright, this is going to be the guide for the company cruiser. Now, right now, I wouldn't consider myself a pro at all at this car. However, I do understand how it functions and some simple ways to drive it to make sure that you're not crashing it. So we're going to hop in the driver's seat here. Now, while it's in park, you want to put in the key. Until you start hearing, the, hearing this rumbling. Then you're just going to try it over and over in somewhat quick in increments like that. It'll eventually start the car. Then you want to turn it to driver reverse, because driving while it's in park will explode the car. So we are going to put it in drive. Now W will always be to move the car, whether it's reverse or drive, and S will always be to hit the brakes. Hitting the brakes in the car are probably your best option to keep the car stable and to stop from running into things. It sounds simple, but I think people underestimate the power of just quickly slamming the brakes to make sure that they don't crash into a rock and they're able to turn and avoid it. So. How I personally drive the cruiser, in order to not explode it, is I will hold W for a little bit and kind of let it cruise, hence the name. And anytime I'm about to hit a rock, or I'm going too fast, I'll just hit the brakes. Going too fast, hit the brakes. Easy as that. Now the cruiser does have a jumping feature, if you do happen to get stuck, and all you do is hit spacebar, and it'll hop the car a bit. I would be careful doing this, because if you're up against a rock and hopping the car, it can damage it a bit, and it causes you to get stuck even more. But if you're ever in a panic, just make sure to hit the brakes, and you'll be okay most of the time. When reversing with the car, it's the same thing as driving. You're gonna hit W to go backwards, and S to brake, and W is what makes you move. If you want to back up the car left, you turn the wheel left, and if you want to back up the car right, you turn that wheel right, hit W. It's as simple as that, just like real life. But yeah, basically, while you're driving with the car, whether you're going forward or reversing, the best thing you can do is just kind of Tap W till you have a decent speed, and then let it cruise and only use A and D to turn the wheel and guide yourself. The cruiser does have additional features that you can use. One of them has to do with Weed Killer that you can buy from the shop. Weed Killer will both heal your car and allow you to have a higher jump. The green bar is your car's health. Right now my health is full on the car by spraying the weed killer into this little nozzle here. You can see it's filling up this orange bar. Sometimes you gotta get the right angle. This is a, a little bit buggy with it. Once I get it in there, it's filling up the, the orange bar. That bar only fills up once your car is already full health. If your car is not full health, then it will fill up the green bar. But that orange bar is your higher jump. Um, this jump will launch you much higher, as you can see, the previous jumping in the car. However, if you jump too much, the car can explode. Every time you use that jump, though, it will use up the orange bar until you can't use that high jump anymore. Some features with the truck include being able to put items inside, on the shelves, and even on top of the cruiser, and be able to transport them that way. Additionally, inside the car, you have your horn, you have your radio, and you have these buttons on the side to toggle the cabin window, and to toggle the wipers. Fun little quality of life features. 
In addition, you have this eject button, which will cause you to take damage and can sometimes kill you. You can also toggle the headlights. Here I will demonstrate how you can escape the cruiser when it's going to explode every time by just exiting. So here I'm going really fast, same about to hit this car. Just by exiting beforehand, you can escape the damage. You can usually crash into about 30 entities-ish at slow speeds, um, and a f couple high speed, but I wouldn't go too high speed or you'll just blow up, crashes before you run out of health in your car. As you can see, this car is a bit low. Many of you probably already know there is a magnet for the car. Switching the lever up, you will turn the magnet on, and switching down, we'll turn it off. If you turn it on, you can then get the cruiser close to the magnet. Look, I have my hood up. Oh. And then it will drag the cruiser right next to the ship automatically. And to get the cruiser down, you just turn it off. Drive away. Entities can't quite get you when you're in the driver's seat. However, they can knock your car around causing it damage. But it's not too bad because you can drive away from them, but you can also drive into them at high speeds. Now the only issue there that I will mention is yes I did kill the giant, but he fell backwards on me, so if I didn't have god mode on I would have died there. It's much easier with old birds. Um, old birds driving to them, it will just kind of disable them. They won't exactly have a death animation, they'll just stand still. Uh, dogs, you can do the same. Dogs can be a li little bit weird and just start pushing the car around and bouncing you around, usually ending in your death. But I wouldn't say it's too practical for killing the enemies in game. You might be able to get a few, but as for a consistent method, it might be a little rough. So here's going to be a little walkthrough on Artifisk, just to kind of recap the basics of the driving and the best way to do it. So you're going to put the key in, hold it until you hear the rumbling. There you go. Then you're going to do some quick increments and hold it for like a second or two at a time. And try again. And eventually it'll start like this. Go ahead and slowly tap W anytime you going too fast, quickly hit S to start the brakes. I'm going to do a little three-point turn here. I'm just slowly just brake checking myself, basically. Slamming on the brakes, giving me extreme whiplash. There I jumped because I got a little bit stuck and I got out. But yeah, here I'm just taking it very slow. And now I'm just going to find my, my speed to cruise at. Here I'm not even touching W anymore, it's just cruising at the speed. I see I'm slowing down, so I'm going to hit W and tap it a little bit. And here we are. The cruiser can block line of sight, sometimes it's a bit buggy with giants, as I've noticed. But the back part of the cruiser can break line of sight. As you can see, the giant tries to grab me. However, as you saw there, they can shake the car around, entities can shake the car around, and just blow you up. The cruiser exploding, however, will do damage to the entity that caused it to explode, and any other entities in range, so that's a little plus. Get some revenge. One last piece of advice I will give you is that Anything you put on the cruiser when it's connected to ship will be collected, and that is even when you die. When you die, and say all players die on the moon, and the ship takes off without them, all the items that you have on the cruiser 
will not get deleted. It will stay there. Now, say I just route us to company. When I go to land at the company, you will see that everything is still on the cruiser. And anytime you want these items off the cruiser, what you can actually do is a quick reload. And it will put all the items inside the ship for you. So that way you don't have to transfer it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe I helped you drive the company cruiser a bit better. Again, I recommend taking it slow, using the braking to your advantage. If you like guides like this, check out the rest of them on my channel. Also, make sure to join the Discord to find great groups, a lot of good people in there, and also just learn all sorts of tech in Lethal Company. But that's about it. Peace.